optets, it's uh, kinetics, thermodynamics, wave and optics, then electrostatics, magnetostatics. Did you have maths or bio in your 12th? Like, I had both in class 11. Oh, God. <laughs> I was a bio student. As you have told very precisely, that 17 questions of math. So do you have a paper or like, can you please tell, tell all the questions I mean from bio, from physics? Sure. Also, I have the previous year question paper. I can share it with you so that uh, you know it's beneficial for you. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe the channel below. And for those who don't know me, my name is Veronica Madan. And for today's vlog or for today's video, I would like to call one of my junior. I mean, I'll be calling one of my junior. His name is Srinjoy and he will be clearing some of your doubts, some of your queries regarding a course in NFSU. The course is BSc, MSc Forensic Science and it is an integrated course of five years. And before starting this video, I would like to thank you all for making our YouTube channel a family of thousand subscribers. You know, I'm overwhelmed right now and thank you so much guys. We are a family of thousand subscribers. <laughs> happy, happy. So yes guys, without even wasting a second, now let's begin the video. Hi guys, so let me introduce him. He's Srinjoy, one of my junior. Now let me pass it to him. He'll introduce himself. So yes. Hello everyone. I'm Srinjoy Rai. I'm pursuing uh, BSc, MSc Forensic Science from National Forensic Sciences University. And I have just completed my semester one. My roots are at West Bengal, Kolkata. So that's all about myself. Okay, so guys, he is here to solve some of your queries regarding BSc, MSc course. I mean, last year I was there and two of my friends were there. And now he is the junior and he's the current batch. So I thought he would solve your queries better than us. So, so I asked him to join in and thank you, Shinjoy, for joining in. So should I begin with the questionnaire? Yeah, sure. And queries. So first of all, what inspired you to take forensic science as your course, as your career? Uh, firstly, I have a very strong knack for investigation and forensic science. Secondly, uh, I always felt this to do something out of the box and study something which is not uh, much explored yet, which is not much, uh, you know, people don't know much about it. So, and which is also a very growing and developing field. So that, that's what inspired me to take up forensic science as my, uh, you know, college course. So right. actually a lot of students are confused, like who can pursue this course? So just explain this also. Okay. So as far as BSc, MSc, forensic science at NFSU is concerned, anybody and everyone with a science background in class 11 and 12, and uh, pursue this course, be it PCM or PCB or PCMB. True that. So bio, valo, bio, valo, or maths, valo, do no kar sakta ho. So yeah. next one, can a dropper your student pursue this course? Absolutely. As said, the basic condition is to have science in class 11 and 12. So yes, a drop your student can also pursue uh, BSc, MSc at NFSC. So do you know the syllabus like just guide them with the syllabus of BSc, MSc entrance exam? Yeah, so for uh, physics, chemistry, maths and biology, mainly the class 11 and 12, as far as because our exam has been conducted by NTA last year. So the syllabus which came out, it was, uh, it mentioned uh, basically all the subtopics and the topics of class 11, 12, physics, chemistry maths biology which we study so like for physics it's uh kinetics thermodynamics wave and optics then electrostatics magnetostatics then properties of a uh, body elasticity fluid dynamics etc for chemistry there was uh atomic structure chemical bonding spdf organic organic basically the uh, 11th organic was there then solid state chemical kinetics everything was there for biology, and then human physiology, plant physiology, then the five kingdoms. Then uh, for last 12, we have evolution, ethology, environment, which is very important, biotechnology. And for mathematics, and then class 11, 12, whole of the syllabus was mentioned, sets, functions, vectors, 3D geometry, calculus, trigonometry. So these were the topics which were mentioned in the syllabus for PCMB. 
not only syllabus guys he has told you important topics i mean according to the last year examination actually did you have maths or bio in your 12 11 i had both in class 11 oh god <laughs> i was a bio student maths like you guys can do through youtube matlab what are the important topics of maths that come okay so last year uh, i mean uh, according to the paper pattern the, they had also mentioned the uh, weightage of each and every subject in the syllabus but however uh, while analyzing the paper i saw that the total number of questions or the actual marks which came from per subject actually deviated a little from what has been mentioned so maths was supposed to be around uh, 10 marks but maths came for 17 marks last year <laughs> the main questions which uh, the main i mean the main areas from where questions came were sets relations functions quadratic equations inverse trigonometry matrices determinants permutation combination binomial continuity differentiability and trigonometry properties basically uh, uh, the basic questions and you no know, basic uh, sums from these uh, chapters had come and one to two questions from uh, each of these uh, sub topics as i mentioned so from maths these were the portions which were asked so me so a student who had bio that actually i also had so uh, one can prepare from youtube like it was a basic question or yes, it was yes, absolutely like uh, for nowadays in youtube too many uh, one shot videos of each chapters are there so what a per student can do is that he or she then as far as the syllabus is concerned can go through the videos understand the concepts and take hold of any maths book of class 11 and 12 and just practice the chapter test or the last chapter test which is there in the uh, for each chapter and just practice the sums from that chapter test that will be more than enough and how was gk and reasoning uh, logical reasoning was mainly the one, those type of questions came which were uh, which are there in the uh, you know which are asked in the olympiads and other exams very basic type of questions like suppose if shower is written as a b c d e f then what okay. will be it's written so very very basic and for gk uh, all the discoveries inventions related to india all you know uh, things uh, i mean um, such as uh, patanjali and all very basic the recent things. things yes discoveries were also asked then certain um, questions such as um, about um, nationalities that and then the national parts and basic geography uh, questions were asked to i mean those are very easy to answer not very as you have told very precisely that 17 questions of maths so do you have a paper or like can you please tell or tell all the questions i mean from bio from physics if you know that precisely okay so like the uh, okay i'll tell you for physics 15 marks were asked and the uh, chapters mainly dealt with uh, class 12 chapters mainly not much of class 11 from class 11 only a one or two question as far as i remember were from waves and thermodynamics the rest all were from like the resistance mobility of electrons mutual inductance transformers then uh, refraction lenses alternating current mainly numericals were asked not uh, much of theoretical questions theoretical questions were there but mainly numericals so yes we had to solve those numericals as far as i remember it was like uh, the physics part was there at the very beginning so yeah from physics 15 questions were asked from chemistry uh, around 17 questions were asked but then and then chemistry was very very standard basic questions such as statistical and anion analysis flame test okay. then what kind of a precipitate is formed the calcium mm-hmm. ion is there or this is there then you know what is bleaching powder made up of gobar dust made up of polymers then ph basic questions were asked a few questions were asked from spectroscopy two to three questions were asked from spectroscopy which is not there in class uh, 11 12 so yeah a few questions were asked from that portion as well uh for biology and then uh, very basic questions related to human physiology ethology environment reproduction then molecular basis of inheritance evolution very basic questions were asked and uh, then another thing which is very important scientists who had discovered which uh, cell organelle who has thought yeah, the cell is the actually i think the main thing yes yeah, cell <laughs> biology so that is also then uh, from biology i think uh, around yeah 18 questions were asked 
Oh God, 18 is actually bio. You can expect much much. Yes. So do you know the last year cutoffs? Yes. Uh, at as such, uh, there are no proper cutoffs that you know. If I cross this mark, I'll be you know getting into the university. But uh, it depends on you know the campus intake. Every year they're opening new campuses, so the number of seats are also increasing. As far as last year was concerned, uh, so last year they had opened the Dharwad campus, so new seats were over there as well. For uh, general, it was fifty two point five. For OBC, it was for uh, forty three point two five. This is percentile, right? Or percentage? Like what's this? Uh, this is the mark. This okay. is the mark. We were not given with the percentiles. Okay. So OBC was forty three point two five. SC was thirty eight. So these marks are basically out of hundred. Okay. SC was thirty point seven five, and EWS is forty two point five. What was your strategy? I mean, how did you prepare, and what was like your strategy? Okay, so I sat down with my NCERT books and a few of uh, I I used to study in Akash in class twelve. So I sat down with Akash modules and uh, NCERT books mainly, and I have studied from there. Uh, basically, revise the concepts, and uh, I used mainly revise class eleven because that was the portion where I was lagging behind. Class twelve, I had already given my board, so that wasn't much of a concern. However, what saved me class eleven did not come much, and uh, for uh, mathematics, I had uh, practiced numericals from my uh, from Adi Sharma, okay. and um, apart from that, from general knowledge and everything, I got Adi Sharma level or it's basic maths. Uh, As you said, the bio is also giving a paper. Yeah, I'll say I'll say, I'll be very honest. It's moderate, uh, okay. not. Basic and then not difficult at all. Okay. One should not be very very tense while so, giving them. Hi, Jack. This, you know, like admission tests, especially NFT. I'll say it's not about selecting people; it's about eliminating people. So while you are giving the exam, be very very sure about the option you are clicking. There should not be any option which you are which you have clicked and that is wrong. Because that will result in you know negative marking, and you will go down the list by anything. So yes. So what's the case of negative marking? How much marks they deduct for negative marking? Zero point two five. Zero point two five for wrong question. And one mark for the right question. Yes. Okay. So the question is, what are the placement opportunities, or what are the opportunities after this course? Okay. So this is a question which you know goes. In and around everybody's mind. So, as far as opportunities and placements are concerned, uh, after completing BSc, MSc degree, there are two options. You can either go for work or you can go for research. So, if you are going for research, you will have to uh, sit for UGC NET exams and other exams to qualify and then do research. Uh, if you are going for work, there are government sectors because forensic science is mainly centered around uh, government, and you know it's a mainly government-oriented subject. To be very honest, so there are government sectors, there are uh, central forensic science laboratories, there are state forensic science labs. So you may go and work over there after clearing the exam, government exam. I'll specify that. Or you may, uh, if you want to, you may sit for, uh, you know, any investigative agency. If you can clear through those exams, so there are multiple options. But yes, uh, the path is not smooth at all, and everybody needs to work hard. Exactly, guys. We, the students here studying, are also exploring the paths. Ki what can else be there? The next question is: Is it mandatory to pursue this course for all five years, or we have any exit option? Uh, we have exit options that after you know each and every year. So I have this list with me, so that after, uh, when you are uh, completing the first year, and if you take an exit from this course, you'll get us uh, you'll get a certificate in program. If you are taking an exit option after second year, you will get a diploma degree. If you are taking an exit option after third year, you will get a bachelor's degree. If you take an exit option after four year, fourth year, so you will be getting a bachelor's degree with honors or research. And after fifth year, you will be getting the BSc, MSc degree. So, okay. what are the hostel facilities? Okay, so as far as hostel facilities are concerned, uh, all the international students they get the hostel facilities. 
for nationals only a few uh, top rankers of the nfta uh, exam will get the hostel facility like for our batch two boys and two girls they had got the hostel uh, in semester 1 i i myself stay in the in campus hostel so um if if a person in the top uh, list doesn't take the hostel the next one in the in the next person following him or her will get the opportunity to take up the hostel okay. anything you your guidance your suggestions for the juniors who want to come to nfsu like yeah sure as said before also that do not uh, take this exam very lightly at the same time do not be very stressed about it be very relaxed and confident with what you have studied make your basics very strong um, and also one more thing i'll be very honest that don't solely rely on ncert textbooks physics chemistry bio for this exam uh, in your school or you know if you have studied separate modules or separate books apart from ncert brush up those ones to clear your basics uh, you know to be very strong with your base and all the best we are waiting for you all so yeah don't be at all stressed about it forms i think they're released in the month of march and then uh, the exam takes place in the month of july so yeah, we have a lot of time you guys have a lot of time to prepare it will be uh, very smooth and also about computer i think i missed out on computer oh, yes Yes, so computer also a little bit of uh, about I think the signals and you know compilers, web pages, address, web page address, URL, domain, Bluetooth, then uh, operating systems. Study these uh, concepts a little bit in detail, so that uh, because questions were asked last year, quite a few technical questions from computer came. So. Uh, I think there is ample amount of time to you know study preparely and clear these. Now you sets. have a lot of time. There is a lot of time. seven <laughs> months almost around six yeah. months. Yeah, there is one more question. Yeah, yeah. I think it's scholarship. What is the scholarship scenario? Okay, so the national level scholarships are there. The national scholarships are there. uh from the college uh our university i think from this year onwards there are no scholarships given to the uh, top rankers or to anybody uh, for our batch but the national level scholarships are there for reserve, for reserve people for single girl child there are scholarships national schemes you are talking about national schemes college are. doesn't provide college doesn't provide Okay, thank you so much, Tanjoy, for coming up in a single message. Thank you so much, and if My these people, yeah, if these people are having another queries, I I'll again ask you out, and you have to come. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Also, I have the previous year question paper. I can share it with you so that uh, you know it's beneficial for everyone. A great news for all who are preparing for this. He has a gift actually for you. <laughs> so a previous year paper. So yeah, you share it with me, and I'll share with them. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone.